we bring together for you the best photographers in the world. I've been connected with the sea uh, since I was a child. For the long time, or for my childhood, I, I, I feel that I belong to the sea. And my dad and my grandfather was a pearl diver. The difference in underwater photography is that you do two hobbies at the same time. I always have that feeling before any dive that I'm looking for the best picture. And as soon as I'm going to dive, it's like I shut down all my stress and bother things in my life to just do my best things I like to do. My advice to any underwater photographer that he have to spend the time with his, with his housing or his equipment. Um, underwater photography are really expensive. You buy your full gear with a, a price of a car. The camera is part of my body. Uh, my buoyancy should be balanced with the camera buoyancy. My arm should be balanced with the camera arm. My brain should work as my camera work. I, I care about my safety. This is the main things. Second is how to go out with a winner picture from the sea. I became more specific about my passion or how, how patient I am with the creatures. I just approach the creatures and wait to see what, what this creature could give me from their behavior, and then take the picture. I was diving in Sipadan 2008. At that, at that day, I still remember my feeling when I, when I faced a thousand of school of fish. And uh, at that day, the feeling is, is was really a big message was in that feeling, like we are not alone on that planet. Um, I still remember when I was diving between them and they was crossing me. It was just like saluting me and uh, I, they give me a feeling that I'm one of them. And um, I should show a, show a big respect for what God had created on our planet. I like to do a night dive more than a normal daylight. Reason is that I found uh, creature behavior are much better to, to put it in the frame where the night dive is. And uh, a lot of action are being happen at night more than the normal daylight. When I hear a lot of other divers experience, I found that the most 80% of the action of their picture was done at, at night. The, the most challenging things with underwater is the light. So I believe underwater photographer should have a big back, a good background about his light, how he master his light. What's good in, in, in underwater photography is that you have your researchman before you go to any dive site. Uh, or any underwater photographer should, should know what is his need. You have to ask about what creature could be there, what you are about to see. This will build to you about what is the best gear to use. Do you gonna use a normal light, uh, two strobes, or only one strobe, or you gonna get with the snoot, for example, you can put the snoot inside the carol and take picture. Well, purpose of camouflage for any creature are two things. Either they hide from predator or either they hide for hunting. When I saw my first seahorse in the water and the instructor was pointing to me, but I have to ask him where. And he pointed to me again and I, I cannot see it. And when he pointed at the third time or the fourth time, I was happy to see it with my eyes. It wasn't yet on my on my frame. I, I, I just feel happy that I can see that small things underwater. 
you have to focus on something with that size and you have to get him very sharp especially the eyes the the first role in underwater photography micro is you have to to have the eyes on focus i i found a big connection between fashion and underwater photography it's like visiting a fashion show uh, still remember some of the shrimp in Anila in Philippines they was playing in front of me a hurricane shrimp and they are full of white with a black dot it will connect any receiver to that picture to the fashion show I, I always want to dive with shark shark are sending big messages by they own their place this shark this place is belong to shark when the shark was surrounding me, um, I, I love the energy that they, they shared with me by even make me uh, very uh, alert about their, when they're passing me, when they are approaching me. I, I love that adrenaline. When shark, it's an, a normal fish. I found it like other fish, not evil. They are an animal. I mean, a lot of shark was uh, circling me and uh, it was really an active moment to me. Now a lot of divers became an underwater photographers. Uh, and my book is always targeting those who have a big question mark about what could they face in, 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 in their journey diving. Uh, the book is also uh, give an idea about uh, a small dream of a young boy who who didn't thought one day that he's gonna achieve that uh, good quality of picture and uh, represent his passion in uh, a lovely color book. I've been inspired by the world underwater and uh, to all underwater photographers by getting a new good pictures it's like a big message that we send it to the rest of the world about how we have to be a behave with the marine environment we are sharing this planet together a good picture could send a message if we are take care about our planet this animal will be there for a long time uh, where we can explain to our kids or next generation about what good this planet still have. We only discover 7% of what been exist under the sea. But my question to the whole audience is, I'm ask them to think about what could be fine on the 93% where it is rest down to the sea. Be inspired, be better, be great.